whenever any brand makes the correct decisions and manufactures the correct or the right kind of equipment that is suitable for international cricketers or professional cricketers who take that as their career or their choice of career you would definitely want to think that oh there is something right that the brand is doing especially we can have two possibilities in this specific case one can be that it can be a brand new brand which has come into the horizon or come into the attention of every every individual player or it can be an established brand well the 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 scenario that we are discussing today is the latter part which is means that stanford being an recognized brand over the period of years i mean you know we have the legacy players who played with stanford now we see players from team sri lanka players from team bangladesh players from team um afghanistan playing with the stanford bats giving you giving you the luxury of believing that the brand is definitely churning out excellent excellent cricket bats out there in fact the guy from australia switched on from greenicles all the way to stanford to have his own player edition which was a fantastic bat which we sold as part of and which we reviewed a little while earlier as well one more thing that sanford is stands out as compared to other brands is the value for money when i talk about stanford bats if you are low on budget if you are considering something extraordinary in limited amount of money that you might have in your pocket or that is the amount of money that you push win to or uh, you would wish to spend stanford is the choice for you and why is that we'll go over the bat that i have in stock today which is the camo premium 12000 bat that we're going to be reviewing today hello ladies and gentlemen this is jinto from us cricket store bringing you the review of the camo 12000 premium as i just mentioned well what does camo camouflage stand for basically masking or you know just masking everything with the camouflage stickers and to go in with this lovely camouflage stickers which has a slight bit of glare as you can see uh, and the lovely lovely stanford return on the back of your bat giving you that that the elongated feel on the back of the bat when you actually view it right this is the lovely profile guys that we are talking about we have a lovely tuck built toe feature as you can see but we are talking about enormous enormous features edge wise we are talking about 44 mm on the edge that's the peak size the the spine is 67 mm and the toe is 29 mm dot we have the sf stamping at the bottom of the bat and you can see take a look at this uh, decals it's textured embossed as well both front and the back of the bat with the camo premium 12000 return here grain wise we are talking about 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 grains 7 7 7 beautiful beautiful looking grains on this particular bat there are no blemishes no marks uh, no knots that i can think of and i can see there's nothing uh, basically but these bats are known for two things one is definitely their volume that you might have already guessed what this uh, bat is uh, with respect to the dimensions the second part is the performance which we will get at the end of the uh, video but let's talk about the handle one of the most important aspects of any cricket bat for that matter it has a medium thickness handle i would not say is extremely skinny i would not say is extremely thick as well it has a lovely oval feel at the bottom and i really really love this feature because if you are going to be aggressive on the field the probability of the bat twisting in your hands becomes slightly less because of this uh, ovalness in the bottom hand and if you are a predominantly bottom hand player then even helps extremely for you to not have the bat twist in your hands and that uh, that you know that gives that extra punch to the ball to travel 
across the boundary if that may be the case uh, on the top of the bat we have a round uh, shape with a small counterbalance at the top of the bat and it does come with with the three rubber inserts as with any stanford cricket bat uh, well we mentioned the weight sorry we mentioned the dimensions it was really big huge as i again i can emphasize again 44 millimeters on the edge 67 millimeters on the spine and the 29 millimeters on the toe and all of that is packed in only and only 2.9.2 on the scales you heard me absolutely right two pounds and nine ounces and 0.2 of an ounce on the scale which is unbelievable to say the least i cannot believe this such big bat uh, being this this ridiculously light uh, definitely a case of uh, low density willow or low density cleft but how does it feel in your hands well just just bear in mind that the the plastic the weight is with the plastic and this plastic is extremely extremely thick guys so 0.3 of an ounce is definitely going off after the plastic comes off what uh, like what does it feel like in my hands especially it that's just my opinion as to what it feels like in my hands wow this is this is a monster of a pickup it feels like a two nine or uh, i would definitely add another grip i play with a very thick handle so i would definitely add another grip but it feels two nine the feel would be enhanced if you remove the plastic for sure and i've been saying this in numerous of my videos then this feel would be even more better uh, with the plastic uh, coming off uh, in my opinion at least but it feels definitely lighter than what its dead weight is that is for sure well that brings me to the performance of this bat well this is a monstrous bat you already you guys already heard about the dimensions but all of that will be of no value if the ball does not travel the distance right let's check it out with this brand new cherry and how it actually performs with this cherry there it is guys make your thoughts make your thoughts and just just <laughs> derive the performance it's i i am not feeling anything in my hands in terms of the vibrations the bat is pressed beautifully i don't know if really the video is making justice but if I'm listening here, the, the, the ping is on the delicious note in the sense that it's not that crisp or it's not hard pressed. It's not super soft pressed as well that I, I can't see any um, like major indentations. You would have to knock it in. You would, we can provide that service to you, but you would have to knock it in and take it to the nets. This would be a beast. Um, I can vouch for that. Let's check out the bow. There's not much bow on this particular bat, but you can see that the grains are going nice and straight through the toe. Again, quality is virtue of a good cricket bat. And uh, there is one millimeter of concaving on the back of the bat. One millimeter. That's about it. But let me assure you something. You would not face any performance difference with that one millimeter of conf concaving because look at it guys or look at it friends in essence you're looking at 44 millimeters of edge how in the world would that even affect that one millimeters of concaving is beyond my understanding uh, at least what i know about the bats uh, this would be a phenomenal beast uh, to whomever is going to be purchased well that brings me to the cost of this bat right the one thing that really really I, I i said before stanford is really making knocking on the doors of each and every person because of the cost that they are being offered at this particular bat which is a grade one willow by the way which is a grade one willow is coming at only 264 dollars and 99 cents with free delivery across the united states that is unbelievable if you ask me you take any other brand or established or reputable brand you would have to pay more for this but this kind of beast uh, honestly and you're getting it for only 264 dollars and 99 cents with free delivery across the united states in my opinion steel deal guys no thought no second thought is even required 
well that brings us to the end of this particular video if you guys like what we do on our channel then would request you to kindly hit that subscribe button otherwise it's all good until next time this is jinto signing off from your cricket store redefining cricket in the us cheers